What's up everyone, Dr. Jacob Wilson here, and the question of the day is, what should I have in my pre-workout? Well, that's a great question, and the key thing to understand is it all depends on your goals. Most people are interested in better recovery, right? We're interested in increased blood flow, increased pumps, right? Shuttling nutrients in the muscle that'll help build it in general. So that's what we're gonna really talk about. So first, let's talk about the basics, which are substrate or building blocks to trigger and turn on muscle growth and actually build it in general. And that's gonna be your essential amino acids, right? Essential amino acids are the amino acids you can't get through actually converting protein in your body unless you have them through diet. So basically, if you wake up fasted, you can have the essential amino acids. If you ate a meal and you're training an hour later, you have all the amino acids in your blood and you just need the trigger, and that would be the branch chain amino acids. So if it's just the branch chain amino acids, I'd recommend about six to 10 grams. If it's all the essential amino acids, I'd recommend 10 to 15 grams, okay? Next, you're gonna wanna augment the recovery process itself, and that's gonna be the ingredient HMB. So HMB actually helps rebuild muscle. It actually increases protein synthesis. It decreases protein breakdown. And actually, uh, we did a study that was back, um, actually published in 2009, where we gave HMB before the workout as opposed to after, and it worked better. So I recommend three grams of HMB before you work out. For citrulline, that is important for things like blood flow, right? Everyone wants a bigger pump in general. And so for citrulline, I'd recommend anywhere from six to nine grams to maximize the pump. And you also wanna support and provide building blocks for like nitric oxide to really amplify the pump itself, and that's gonna be beetroot juice powder. And for that, you're talking about anywhere from 10 to 20 grams of beetroot juice powder. So you have kind of the ultimate cocktail going on here. Now, listen, creatine's a tried and true supplement, but I think there's a timing effect to it all. It's not just a supplement that enhances the pump, it's not just something that enhances strength, but it may actually have cell signaling effects. In fact, the cells that help us grow, which are called satellite cells, seem to be turned on when you take creatine. And creatine gets shuttled better into the muscle around the workout, so I would take anywhere from three to five grams of creatine before your workout itself. Um, if, for example, you're on a low carb diet, you probably wanna maybe just have maybe five to 10 grams of carbs. If you're not on a low carb diet, you might have anywhere from maybe 20 to 30 grams of carbs in that meal. Now remember, Part of the pump itself, if you wanna optimize it, is gonna be a little bit of sodium, some electrolytes, right? So any, a, 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 a drink that's high in electrolytes, you might wanna mix all these ingredients in. So again, let's review this. For building muscle, you're gonna have either 10 to 15 grams of essential amino acids, or anywhere from six to 10 grams of the branch chain amino acids if you just had a meal. HMB, about three grams of HMB, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have. Then you're gonna to wanna to have anywhere from six to eight or six to nine grams of citrulline, uh, anywhere from 10 to 20 grams of beetroot juice, and throw three to five grams of creatine in there and mix it up in electrolyte rich beverage. And guys, that's gonna give you everything that you need to grow, recover, and just get a great pump. Finally, remember, if you're a guy who needs a, a boost, throwing in 200, maybe 300 milligrams of caffeine will get you there. Um, a little bit of touring along with that as well. Thanks so much, guys. I'll see you next time.